Hi, welcome to another edition of the Alan Rosenberg Show. Three days ago, I did a video called Sexiest Album Covers, and these were about 20 album covers that I thought are works of art, but also with sexy in a non-gratuitous way. There was basically no nudity, um, but just albums that I thought were provocative and, and just really, really good. And uh, as of today, it has 294 views. Now, my channel is not all that big, but I typically get a lot more than 294 views. And the reason why is because YouTube flagged it. They felt it was inappropriate. I don't know why, because there's basically no nudity in that video whatsoever. But nobody could seem to find that video. You can't watch it unless you're over a certain age which is just as amazing to me because all you got to do is watch broadcast TV and you'll see a lot more than that. If you watch Naked and Afraid, that whole show is nothing but tushes, naked, and boobs. It's all you see. If you're in England, what was that, Naked Dating? They actually showed full frontal examinations. It, w it was just incredible. I thought it was great. I uh, Even uh, friends here uh, worldwide, uh, otherwise known as the Jennifer Aniston Nipple Show, shows more than what I showed. But lo and behold, some people were offended. So I'm going to do part two of this video because I promised you I would. I got another 20 CDs, give or take, maybe another 10 vinyl albums. And again, these are albums that provocative. Provocative albums, part two. That's what we're going to call it. Uh, and I hope you enjoy it. Would love your opinions. I think I covered a good selection here. Don't want anybody to be offended. Um, I got a Blackmore's Night shirt on because Candace Knight is the lead singer and she's very pretty and a wonderful singer. So I hope nobody's offended uh, because you can see her hair. I hope that doesn't offend anybody. All right, let's uh, start off um, with an album that I bought uh, when it came out. I thought it was a phenomenal album, but there's no doubt the cover was sexy and provocative. And that's the debut album from Heart. Dreamboat Annie, and you got Ann Wilson, and you got Nancy Wilson, and this is just an awesome album cover. Sorry for the glare. Um, I'm trying to film this not so sharp because I don't want to offend anybody. But uh, that was a great album cover, and actually a fantastic album. One of my favorite debut albums of all time. So let's stick that right around there. That's Heart, and Dreamboat Annie uh, will start it off. There we go. All right. Uh, these are in no particular order, so some will be provocative more than others. But um, here's a, a recent one. I, I actually thought this was a pretty great cover. This is Taylor Swift and her most, well, her most recent, but it's actually not. Now she's got a new one. This is her album, Midnights. Uh, this is an album that I first listened to, and I really didn't like it at all. I'm like, this is not for me. And then I, I kept listening to it, and it really grew on me. But uh, that is a great artistic uh, front cover, I think. And then the back is also really well done. And it's a very mature album. Uh, it's kind of a electro techno for her. But, um, you know, this could have been like Joni Mitchell, Ricky Lee Jones in their day. And um, I think it's a really, really good album cover uh, from an album that really grew on me, to be honest with you. So Taylor Swift and uh, Midnight's. This might be kind of an obvious one. Uh, well, how am I going to show this one? Well, I can show you the cover. Remember in the 70s, uh, the Ohio Players, well, they're really famous because pretty much every one of their album covers has got naked women or naked body. Yeah, naked women, basically. Uh, that one, Honey, that was a really famous one. So this one, if you take it out, and uh, you kind of go like that, and I'm going to have to edit this because I don't want to offend anybody. So uh, let's uh, do a little editing. So this is the cover of Ohio Players Gold, which is like a greatest hits album. And yeah, I had to cover her tushy because you certainly can't see that everywhere on national TV. But uh, I don't want to offend anybody. So there's Ohio Players Gold. And uh, just an example of one of many Ohio Players albums that has uh, women on it that are beautiful. Um, so there you go. Let's put the Ohio Players in there. And Jesus, I, I hope I didn't offend anybody. Um, so that's why I covered that up. Let's keep going. This one 
I is provocative. I, I think this is one of the greatest covers of all time. It's a jazz album by Bill Evans and Jim Hall, and it's called Undercurrent. And she's fully dressed, um, like floating underwater. And this is, in my opinion, one of the all-time great covers. And in a way, I do find it, you know, it's certainly provocative. We'll use the word provocative. And that is kind of a provocative cover. I think it's a masterpiece. So Bill Evans, Jim Hall, and Undercurrent. I certainly don't think there's anything here that would offend anybody. I hope. If it does, get a life. Don't go to museums. All right, let's keep going. Um, well, this is one that I certainly can show. Let's uh, let's uh, let's do something. So uh, there was a band, The Slits. Do you remember The Slits? It took a lot of guts. They they did an album called Cut. Ooh, let's let's show this from a distance. Well, it showed all three of them uh, topless. Um. And I thought that was a gutsy move on their part and courageous. And I thought it was a really great album cover. So I just edited it. Uh, so this is the YouTube uh, version of Cut by the Slits. Um, pretty famous album cover. And I, I like that. And it is provocative, certainly. Uh, so there is the Slits. And uh, I guess we can put that one over yonder over there. How does that sound? We'll do that. Okay, let's keep going. Um, oh, I think we're gonna have to edit this one. This was a strange one. Uh, yes, of course, always did amazing covers with Roger Dean, and then they took a break, and they did this one, uh, Going for the One. So, um, I remember when this came out, I loved this album. Uh, it's one of my favorite Yes albums, but I just thought it was a bizarre thing that they did that. Um, and it's just these kind of buildings that kind of reminded me of the World Trade Center. But uh, it had a, a, a naked man, at least his, his bottom, right? Is that what you call it? Uh, his bum, as they would say over across the pond. So uh, it's just a, a naked guy showing his bum, facing his bum. And uh, there's a close-up. Uh, there's the... The YouTube version uh, that I have to edit. But um, it's definitely an interesting, provocative cover. And uh, really interesting for Yes. Um, I, I still find that cover interesting and strange uh, at the least. So they, there's that one. Let's keep going. Um, well, this one, I don't even know if I could show this one. This is Santana and their legendary album Abraxas. And uh, a wonderful piece of art that has a woman kind of like that. And, yeah, I, I can't really show that, can I? Because, you know, you could see parts of her. Let's, uh, let's, let's completely destroy this worth of art. Uh, so it kind of looks like something like that. And that is a woman there. But you, I can't show it to you right now. So uh, go check out Abraxas's cover somewhere because um, you you could see it anywhere else. Certainly, uh, nobody in their right mind would be offended by that, at least in my opinion. So uh, there is Abraxas, and we will put that in here because uh, that is a fantastic piece of work. Let's uh, we'll stick that over there. That'll work. Okay. Let's keep going. Um, <laughs> somebody suggested this one. I actually had thought of it, and I was on the fence. And, and they're kind of right. You know, back in the uh, late 70s, you know, Rod Stewart and his endless parade of girlfriends who were famous models and actresses. And this was a fun cover, uh, Blondes Have More Fun. And the only problem with this cover is who's prettier, Rod Stewart or the woman? And there is the inside of it. So uh, you got to go with sexy, provocative album covers. This is a good one from Rod Stewart. Uh, this is the album that, of course, features Do You Think I'm Sexy? So uh, a lot of people thought Rod Stewart was sexy. So there we go. We'll put that over there. Here's a, a more recent one from the Rolling Stones. This one I'm sh I think I can show it to you. This was a, a 
what could have been a, a really good live record. Unfortunately, it's really not. But some good performances. This is a live one called Live Licks. There are two versions of this. This is the one where she has a bikini top on. There is actually a version where she's topless. But I'm going to show you the one where she's wearing the bikini. And hopefully uh, you guys won't be offended. And if you are, please don't go to the beach, ever. At least in America. All right, let's keep going. I thought this was a really good one. Uh, that's a band I really like, Michael uh, Stanley Band. And this is a great live record. Uh, I think their best album, my favorite, Stage Pass. And that is a really good cover, I think. Um, it's sexy, it's provocative, and I hope nobody has a problem with this one. But uh, that's a really good live record. If you want to get into Michael Stanley Band, that's, a, that's the one, I think. Uh, Carly Simon. Uh, you could choose a bunch of her albums. Playing Possums, one that somebody mentioned, and I, I was thinking about that one. But I, I kind of prefer No Secrets. I'm not going to get too close because I don't want anybody to be offended. Uh, uh, certainly anybody who's never watched Friends because this is basically every episode of Friends that you'll ever watch. But No Secrets from Carly Simon. A great cover. And we'll leave it at that. Uh, this is Liz Fair, her self-titled album. This is actually my favorite Liz Fair album. She took a lot of grief on this because they said that she was a sellout. Uh, I don't care. I think it's a really good record. And that's the cover. And, uh, she's just holding the guitar provocatively. And, um, that's the back cover. But I think that's a pretty good cover from Liz Fair's self-titled album. I like it. This is one that I always thought was really good, too. And this is the uh, self-titled album from the band Free. And I just think this is a really cool cover. You know, it's clearly the outline of a woman. And when you look up, you see the universe. And uh, I think that's just a great cover. And it is uh, sexy in a way. And it is also provocative. But it's all in your imagination. So uh, there you go. Great cover from Free. Love that one. Uh, this was kind of a provocative one. This was uh, the third album from Farina, and this was called Head Games. And um, I don't know, you know, Head Games. It just really, I think it's just a cool cover. Sexy girl in a men's locker room. Looks like uh, not sure what she was up to, or got caught doing, or who knows. But it's a provocative cover that certainly I thought was kind of sexy in its time. And I uh, still like it. All right, let's keep going. Um, somebody mentioned this one. I would never have thought of this. Uh, but it is more like a romantic cover. And this is Bob Dylan's The Freewheeling Bob Dylan. And it's just him and his girlfriend at the time walking down the street of Greenwich Village Cuddling with each other, it's probably a little bit cold, and you know what? That is sexy and romantic, and it shows that sexy and romantic doesn't always, or maybe more often than not, doesn't have much to do with nudity, just love and feelings of attraction and things like that. That's a, a really cool cover, and that was a really good recommendation, so I will stick that over there. Um, definitely can't show this one, can I? This is Led Zeppelin. And you know what I could say? It's the Houses of the Holy, which is a legendary cover by Hypnosis. And I think it was really only one child, or two child, two a brother and sister that they, you know, copied over and over again. Um, but they are naked on the, uh, that uh, landscape that they filmed it at. Um, it's definitely, I, I don't think I would call it provocative, but it's certainly interesting. The inside gatefold had that, uh, naked man holding the person up as well. So I actually think this is a great, great cover. And we're going to just stick it over there so you can't see it because God knows somebody's going to be offended by that. Uh, this is a provocative one by the band UFO. This is Force It. And uh, it's kind of strange. He's forcing it, but they're surrounded by faucets. And this is a, it's kind of a weird provocative cover but I, I i like it it's a cool one 
Um, I think she's sexy as heck when she was, especially when she was younger. This is Kate Bush, and this was her debut album, The Kick Inside. Now, this cover has something like six or seven different album covers, so you may be looking at this saying, what the heck is that? I never saw that cover before. I think this is the Japanese cover, but uh, she was certainly a beautiful young woman and massively talented, and I loved that cover. So um, we're going to stick that one right over yonder two um what else here's another one um i thought this was a neat one this is suede the london suede and dogman star their uh album and it looks like it's a naked guy laying there you can't really see much so i don't think anybody should be offended but um but just a naked guy laying on a, a bed and I, I think that's a certainly an interesting cover and we'll just bury that one over there and last but not least, out of these CDs, um, you can't go wrong with Linda Ronstadt. She was massive talent, a big fan of hers, and certainly there's a lot of great covers. Uh, for me, I think the most provocative, provocative is Hasten Down the Wind, Hasten Down the Wind. Um, her in this uh, slinky outfit and uh, walking along the beach with a horse in the background. Yep. And that is, to me, a very nice-looking album cover from Linda Ronstadt, and she's got a bunch of those as well. So those are those. I am going to just quickly mention two that I do not find overly provocative or sexy in the slightest, but some people do. And one is this thing called uh, the debut album from Photomaker. And this album cover won a lot of awards, but this album cover just creeps me out. I never understood the appeal of these beauty contests that they have for children, you know, and they make them up to look like women, and in a way, that's kind of what they're doing there. Um, just creeps me out. So, no offense, and I knew uh, Lex, the guitarist in that band, and jammed with him a bunch of times, but not a fan of that. And this one I certainly can't show, and everybody's thinking of it, and that is the album cover from Blind Faith. And there it is, fully covered, so you can't see it. Um, and if you don't know this cover, you'll have to look it up. But uh, I'm not a fan of this cover. I'm not offended by it. It just doesn't appeal to me. Uh, so those are all the CDs. Now, there are still some cool ones, so I hope you're enjoying this. Let's talk some vinyl. And uh, I showed you live licks uh, from the Stones. There's two other Stones ones in here. I love, and I mean love, the album cover from Undercover. A lot of people don't like this one. This is the original one. I think this is great. This is the first pressing with the stickers, never removed. The back uh, had the woman and there's a tongue there covering, so we should be good with that. Um, this is an, an album that I actually really, really like in general. I call it a great Stones album for Stones fans, and that is exactly what it is. It's a, it's a really good record. Um... I think I've seen this on lots of videos, so I'm sure we should, we're okay. This is Sticky Fingers, obviously, and it shows um, tight jeans of a man. A lot of people think that's Mick Jagger. It is actually not Mick Jagger. So there you go. Uh, let's put Sticky Fingers up there, and let's cover it just because I don't know who gets offended by anything. Every, everybody gets offended by something nowadays, right? Sticky Fingers is one of the most famous covers of all time, but we certainly don't want to offend anybody. Um, here is a Rolling Stones bootleg that I definitely can't show. Um, but this was, they used the album cover from their 69 tour on this bootleg, and I love it. This is the Rolling Stones in concert, and, uh, you know, so... I think we should be okay. I'm covering her, her breasts because God knows breasts are a filthy thing to see. But um, that was a cool uh, bootleg um, album cover. And that was the, like I said, that was the tour program from the 69 tour. So uh, I like that. And uh, tour poster and the tour program. Guess it wasn't offended in, offensive in 1969. Now, who knows? Um, Deborah Harry, I mentioned her in the last video. Um, this is a, a provocative cover. Uh, H.R. Geiger did this one, and this is her first solo record, Cuckoo. And, uh, that absolutely stunning, beautiful face. 
with a bunch of metal rods right through it. Um, strange cover, but provocative for sure, and appealing in its own way. We'll hold off for a second. Um, I here remember this one, Tanya Tuck. This is one that you get just because the cover. Uh, and this was Tanya Tucker and TNT. And this was uh, a latter-day Tanya Tucker album, I guess. And uh, there was the, uh, the inner gate folds. Let's see if you can see it there. There you go. Right, can you see it? There we go. She was uh, pretty hot, Tanya Tucker. And holding dynamite. And TNT. So that was a great cover back in the day. And uh, what about this was the cover of Grand Funk, not sexy or provocative, but this certainly was inside for women or men who like looking at naked men. Uh, there's Grand Funk Railroad, uh, <laughs> the inside of We're an American Band. That was worth seeing. What else? Uh, talking about Grand Funk, this was not a sexy album cover or provocative in my mind. This is their album called What's Funk. Uh, I don't know, woman in bikini with jumper cables with a phallic-type building in the background? I don't know. Didn't do much for me, but maybe it does something for you. So there you go. What else we got? Uh, you know, I just for the ladies, if there are any ladies watching this, Peter Frampton certainly was a great-looking rock star. And this was the cover of Where I Should Be. And he was a cutie pooty, wasn't he? And uh, so there you go. Figured I'd show that for the ladies or for the men who are like that. Listen, I could appreciate it. He is a he was a cutie. He really was. Now, what do I got? I got one, two left, and I'll show you these two. Uh, this one I definitely can't show. This is a really famous cover. I think I showed it on an earlier video, actually. Maybe I could show it. But this is a thing called Mom's Apple Pie. Now, there's two versions of it. This is the, the provocative cover. And it's an album, as you get close to it, it's a woman holding a piece of pie. Oh, I'm going to have to cover this up because when you get to the really close piece of the pie, you will see a part of a woman's anatomy very clearly drawn. Uh, they wound up redoing this cover without that, but uh, this is a great, I think it's a great, very provocative album cover, and uh, wanted to show that, even though I am editing it. And last but not least is this provocative album cover from Humble Pie called Thunderbox, and uh, this is a die-cut cover. There's a keyhole. And the idea is when you look in the keyhole, depending on how you put the inner sleeve in, you see little bits of, you're not sure. But when you take the inner sleeve out, there is some stuff. So you have a, a woman's backside, two women in the bath, and there's a woman with a backside and a woman with side boob that I am covering so you're not offended. And then on the other side, there's a woman sitting there, um, but you can't see anything. So um, I think this is a really clever, really cool, provocative album cover from Humble Pie. And that is worth looking at as well. So let's do that over there. And that's that, folks. So there are the collection of part two provocative album covers. I hope you kind of enjoyed this. Uh, I think it was kind of fun. And that is that. Um, that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know what you think. Uh, I appreciate your loyalty. Hopefully you'll be able to watch this video. And if you do, check out the part one video uh, if they let you see it. Um, but uh, these are definitely great, classic, provocative album covers, in my opinion. Let me know what you think. Uh, as I always say, stay safe, stay healthy. Uh, hit subscribe if you're new to my channel. Check out the other videos. It is Father's Day weekend here in America. So if you are a father or celebrating Father's Day, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. 
And I'll see you next time on the Alan Rosenberg Show.